Hi, my name is Tyler Gaxtetter. I'm from Resource Supply out of Tigard, Oregon. I'm the project manager and trainer here at Resource Supply. And the purpose of this video today is to show you how to calibrate this tilt sensor in a True Pulse 360 made by LTI. Uh, you'd want to do this calibration if the unit has been dropped or, has been, or if you've noticed the angles have been off as far as the tilt sensor goes. And it's also a good idea to do it maybe every couple of months just as a kind of maintenance procedure. Now, tilt sensor calibration is very similar to the compass calibration. Some of the screens are the same, and most of the uh, button synchronizations are the same as well. So to get started, go ahead and turn your unit on, and enter the menu by pressing and holding the down arrow on the left side of the unit. Press it down so you see unit at the top of the viewfinder, and go ahead and scroll down two times so you see INC. Go ahead and hit fire, and it's going to ask you if you want to calibrate or not. Scroll up to yes, and hit fire to initiate the uh, calibration sequence. This is where the screen looks exactly the same as the compass calibration, so it's C1FD. Now, it's similar to the calibration or the compass calibration in that there's eight different positions that you're going to place the unit and take different calibration points. It's going to be lens forward and away from you, you rotate 90 down, 90 so it's back at you, 90 up, and the same rotation with the serial port up. Go ahead and I'm going to take my first point, point it away from me, level on the table. I'm going to hit fire, rotate 90 degrees so the lenses are facing down, go ahead and hit fire, rotate 90 again. Now you notice the fire button is going to be kind of hard to press in this position. Well, you can actually press either the fire button or the arrows on the side of the unit. So I'm going to stabilize it on the table, I'm going to press one of the arrows, store the point, and continue with the rotation. Here, fire. Now the serial port up, fire, lens down, fire, lens towards me, fire, and last position, fire. After you've done the last position, look through the viewfinder, and hopefully you'll see that it says pass, which mine does. Um, if it does say fail, it'll give you six different uh, numbers for the fail. It would be fail one, fail two, fail three and so on, which means fail for different reasons. You can look it up in the manual and you can figure out why it failed. Um, hopefully if you did it right, it says pass. Now your Triple 360 is calibrated.